All right. So let's look at this next example here. So it says, pictured to the right are regions R and S, which are formed by the graphs of f of x and g of x. So looking at these two, which one do you think would be the sine one, and which one is the exponential one? The one going up. The one going up is the sine. So I'm going to go over that one in my blue pen. And I'm going to label it uh, f of x. And then I'm going to go over the other one with my red pen. And I'm going to label that one g of x. Okay, this is another calculator problem. You can do it by yourself? So the first one says identify the points of intersection. So we're trying to find this point right here. And this point, right? So let's graph them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press uh, Control N, so I can open up a new document and not be messing around with anything else. And remember not to save. Let's type it in. So one. It just saves the document. It's taking up memory. Sign of pi x. And then press tab, and let's type in the next one. 4 to the negative <coughs> 6. Now, my window doesn't match the one that's there. Let me get rid of this stuff. Control menu 2. Click on that one. Control. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? There we go. Control menu 2. Oh, click on this guy, control menu, alright. So I'm going to adjust my window so it kind of looks like the one that's there, so I can get a better view. And it looks like the first intersection point is a little bit above 1, so maybe I'll go up to 2. And this goes a little bit above 1, so I'm also going to go up to 2 on the Y. So menu 4, 1. And let's go from like, I don't know, negative 1 to 2 on the X. Leave that as auto. And I'm going to go from negative 1 to 2 also on the Y. Let's see if that looks good enough to work. Yeah. That's okay? I only care about this space right here, right? All right, cool. So we want to know the intersection points. So menu, 6, 4. There's only two, so... You can do it like this. If there's more than that, I'll show you another way of doing it in a little bit. So menu, six, four. And there's going to be some that have a lot of intersection points on your homework. So you're going to want to know another way to do that. so you can see better. Yes, yeah, so 1 and point 20. So let's write down those points because we're asking for them, right? So the first one is point 178218, comma, point 781092. And the second one is 1 and point 25. This one right here is the point 178218. And this one right here is one. Good? So, let's set up an integral to find the area of region R. What are we going to do there? Top minus bottom or right minus left? Top minus bottom. Top minus bottom, okay. Which curve is on the top and which curve is on the bottom? R, G, of X is the top. F of X is on the top? No, that was G of X. G of X is on the top. No, I'm not on the top. For R? Yeah. Because that's what we're doing. RG is on top and F is on the bottom, right? So let's write that down. We're doing top minus bottom from 0 to what? Very good. So set up the integral. The top function we said was who? G of X minus the bottom function F of X. You got everything to set up your integral. From 0 to 0 0.178218, 
g of x minus f of x dx. I think we already have those functions typed in there, right? So let's do it. So menu 6, what are we doing? Seven. Bounded area, right? Okay. I'm going to type in 0 because that one's easy. And then you have to be careful because check this out. If I decide to type it in, look what happens. I'm pressing the point, okay? Everybody believe me? Yeah. Point 178. What happened? There's no point. There's no point. Oh my. Okay? So some of you might do that and you're asking it to do from 0 to 178,218. <laughs> okay? And then it's going to stay Wait, with a little clock. Oh. Why does it do that? I don't know. So maybe to avoid that, you would start off with zero point, then it would actually pick it up. Okay? Or to avoid all that entirely, you can just go to the point and tap on it, right? I'm going to try that. Cool. What do we end up getting there? Point zero six five. If we round to the minimum of three decimal places, you could put more if you wanted. It would be unit squared because you are found finding area, but uh, it's not necessary because there's no units. All right, how about for region S? What are we going to do there? Top minus bottom as well? Okay. Top minus bottom. Which one's on top now? F and G is on the bottom, and it's going from where to where? Point one seven eight two one eight. So set up your integral. The area is equal. Point one seven eight two one eight to one. F of x minus g of x dx. So again, menu six seven. And for this one, I'm going to use the point. So I'm going to come over here. Click there. And then I'm going to come over here. Click <coughs> this guy. 0.410. Over and up. 4.10. Oh, it's 10.4? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I had a Yoda moment. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Understood. Forty-four is lunch. Really? Yeah. Are we good? We got the So far, so good. For everything, for restroom. All right. Let's look at this one. That's funny. What does this one want? Yeah. <laughs> Unshaded region, bounded by F, G, and the x-axis. Wow. Oh. So this one was F, right? Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one was G, and the x-axis is down here. And they want the space, the unshaded space that's bounded by those three graphs. Where would that be? Right here? We don't need the other one? Awesome. So I think Javi has a good idea. So Javi was saying to find the integral of the blue curve. Is that what you're saying? So if I find the integral of the blue curve from 0 to what? To 1 or to this guy? To that guy. Ah, do you see some kids messing up and only going up to 1? Right? We've got to go all the way up to here. <laughs> so yeah, and then subtracting what? S. S, right? Which we already got. So that's like coloring all of it, and then we're going to take away this part that we already found in the other problem, right? Okay, cool. So let's set that up. Okay, the, we want the integral of this curve, which we said was who? Of f of x from 0. We've got to find this number, though, right? So we're looking for this number because we've got to go all the way to here. So menu 6, 1 for zeros. Now since you have two graphs there, you have to click the graph that you want a zero of. So I clicked on the blue one. 
doesn't the work. Green. It doesn't work. You got to make sure you pick on the curve. <laughs> Since you have two curves, it's uh, it's kind of wondering which one do you want to know the zeros of, right? So 1.08043, 1.08043, which is this value. Okay. Minus six one. Minus the integral that we just figured out earlier. I don't want to just put the number that I got because I rounded on that number, right? So I want to go from what was it? Point one seven eight. Two one eight to one. And then I think we did f of x minus g of x dx. Okay, so this one I can't do it on the actual calculator here on the graph page. I need to do it on a calculator. Finding the area underneath the blue one minus the shaded area which we found earlier, which was this formula, right? And that should give me the unshaded space. So go. Oh, <laughs> I always do that. I want to press home and I press second one. For some reason. So, open up a calculator page. Now we're going to go to VARS because I don't want to have to type it again. It's already on my. I don't know which one it is. You don't know? I have like six functions right now. Shucks. Make sure you go back and find that. Minus. The integral from what? Point one seven eight to one eight to one. Vars minus F one minus Vars F two. Okay, that's five minus six. There you go. That's a lot easier than having to type in the whole equation. So we get point four eight six two five eight. the integral from 0 to 1 point whatever of the blue curve, which is f, right? Plus, but it has to be bounded by this curve. Yeah. 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 But if you took that little portion, it's not drawn yeah. into it. It doesn't say it's bounded by the line. Oh, you mean like if it were to come yeah. over this way? Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah I, think, I think they just forgot to put that other part. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. If, if, since they didn't say bounded by the y-axis as well, then we would go further over here, right? So let's change it. There we go. Does that make you happy now? Yes. Yeah. Does that fix it now? I'll fix it for next year. <laughs> Those genius kids. This for Max. We're going to get it to Max. But yes, do you see his point? Yeah. And it didn't say the y-axis was a bound, so technically we would have had to have started from over here. It would have made a little bit of a difference. Okay? Are we good? So the other way would be like that. Find the area from between here and here, and then find this one, and then find that one again. So it would be like three different in the point. Mr. Sides, on the test, will they do that? Like, like, ha, like, will they do, like, will they say, um, only the x, they won't say the y, and then we will only do, we'll do the x and the y. Like, we'll bound it. Like, how no, we do they it won't here. make those mistakes. They won't make those mistakes? No, they shouldn't. They're good. Oh, okay. If but that's what I was going for there. We sue and everyone gets a five. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now for the fun problems, the ones where there is no graph provided and they ask you to do you ready? So three examples, 20 minutes. We gotta crank it up. We just drew a bunch of pictures. Ready? 
So for these problems, I provided you with a graph, and then I regretted providing it later. Because on the test, you won't have a nice, pretty graph like that provided for you. Okay? So we're not going to use those graphs. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to try to come up with a rough sketch. So let's do that. The reason you have to do this is so you can figure out whether you're doing top minus bottom or right minus left for that particular problem. So let's look at it. We have y equals x squared. Okay? What does that look like? Parabola right here at the zero, opening up like that, right? We've got to know our parent functions to be able to do this. The second one is a line, 2x plus 3, right? So we know that that one should start at 3, go 2 up and 1 to the side, so it's probably going to look like that. And we're looking for this area here, bounded between the two curves. So what is it going to end up being? What do you think? Is this a top minus bottom or a right minus left? Top, top minus bottom. bottom. Top minus bottom from where to where? From there to there. From that intersection there to point there. to that intersection point. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to find out where these two curves are crossing each other. Are we good? Yeah. All right. So we know that this is a top minus bottom, right? And we need to find intersection points or limits. So how do I find the intersection?